And we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. As we gather here this morning as God's family with confidence, we call upon our Heavenly Father, knowing of his mercy and of his compassion. Lord, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Heavenly Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be a visible sign of your love. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you will come again in all your glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us of our sins and bring us to our everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, through the intercessions of Pope St. Gregory, endow, we pray, with the spirit of wisdom, those to whom you have given authority to govern. The flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, and they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you. Paul, or Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or the present, or the future. All belong to you, and you to Christ, and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain, to the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Come after me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake Gethsemane. He saw two boats there along the lake. 
the fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. And after he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deeper water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and we have caught nothing. But at your command, I will lower the net. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and to help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For I had astonishment at the catch of the fish that had made it seized him. And all those who were with them, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were the partners of Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. And when they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. It would seem to me that we're being reminded once again how God works in mysterious ways. How God's ways are not our ways. I could just see Simon in the boat after a long night of fishing and catching nothing, having to go out a little bit off the shore for a little while, and then to be told to go out into the deeper waters to fish again. After fishing all night and catching nothing, <clears throat> I'm going to cough here. <clears throat> I don't think the first opportunity of going fishing again was the first thing he probably wanted to do. He probably just wanted to go home and take a nap or go to sleep, count his losses, and get on with life. But then God's mysterious ways comes into his life. He has to go out into the deeper water, go off on the other side, and try to catch some more. We all know the rest of the story. He's astonished at what they catch. The question I think we have to ask ourselves, are we willing to go out into the deeper water? Are we willing to go out into the deeper water and try again at our Lord's command? Are we open to the mysterious ways of God in our lives? Do we want to stay in the boat or get out of the boat, take that nap, and get on with life counting our losses? For today we're being challenged maybe to go out into the deeper water, to trust that God's there, God is there and God has a plan for us, even when we're not quite sure what that might be. Are we truly open to the presence of God in our lives? Are we willing to reach out into the deeper waters, even when it doesn't seem to be so comfortable? Perhaps we should challenge each other and pray for each other that we may be able to get on that boat of life, to truly trust in the transforming power of God, no matter how mysterious they may seem to be. And I invite you to stand as we make known our needs and our desires to our loving and compassionate Father. Let's pray for our church, for our Holy Father, our bishops, and all the women and men who serve in the name of Jesus Christ. For them, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Pray for lasting peace and justice throughout our world, to end to war, terrorism, and racism. For this, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Let's pray that we will have the courage to be open to the mysterious ways of our God, to reach out and to follow his commands and hopefully inspire others to do the same as we, in the things that we choose to say and do. For this, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Continue to pray for an end to the pandemic. For this, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Pray for all those who are sick, hospitalized, and homebound. Let us pray to the Lord. Those who have died, particularly those who will die today and those who will die alone. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us take a moment and silently pray for our own intentions.
And we pray for all our intentions, including the intentions of Laura, John, and Johnny Respicio. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are Good and gracious God, we make known to our needs and our desires. Those we speak aloud, those we speak in the silence of ours. We ask that you grant them, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread that we are, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, to what become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we are, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, to what become our spiritual bread. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the very glory of his name, for our good and for the world Grant our supplication, we pray, Lord, that this sacrifice we present in celebration of St. Gregory may be for our good, and since through it its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you have made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and our Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and to manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna and you are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and the Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him 
and in him. O oh God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together now, let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus comes. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. For Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite you to be seated at this time. And once again, it looks like everybody's been here before, so you know the procedure. Sanitize your hands, extend your hands, demask, and consume, remask, and return back to your seats. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The 
body, okay? Yeah. Let us pray. Through Christ, the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ, the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Gregory they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Master this morning has come to us and may we go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day.